Video number five is uh, one of the last features inside of QTE, so we've gone through material, perishable tooling, and labor costs. Now we're going to do what we consider to be non-machining costs. Non-machining costs could be anything from plating to deburring to packing uh, to anything that's done uh, not involving the machining of the part. So if we take a look at some things that we have in here, uh, we have deburring in here, and you can see there's two ways that we can calculate the cost. One is an hourly rate or a per piece cost, or we can use a fixed cost. A fixed cost might be plating. Uh, you give your uh, plating uh, contractor a call. I'm going to make 350 parts. This particular cost, how much is it going to cost me for plating? You could use that as a fixed cost. But one of the really nice features inside of the non-machining database is this hourly rate feature. And you can put a lot of different things in here that you would normally not include in a cost estimate. And let's say deburring. Uh, let's say we put in deburring, we're going to give it a $25 uh, hourly rate. And then we're going to go into, when we do the cost estimate, tell it how many hours is going to be required to do the deburring. Uh, so deburring, packing, uh, just things that you would normally wouldn't put into a cost estimate but are incurred in the cost of creating the part. So very easy inside of QTE to make this non-machining database and then to include that into the cost estimate. And again, like everything else, the non-machining database has an unlimited capacity. So you can put things in in multiple different formats uh, or multiple different items that you need to put into the deburring, I mean, into the non-machining database. When it comes time to enter non-machining costs into the estimate, uh, we include those services that you have down in here. This is coming from the database or manual charges. And we also include programming time and setup time. And you can have a differently, different hourly rate for programming and setup costs. So in the non-machining costs, we're first including programming and setup. And then as we increment these up, you can have an unlimited number of these additional services included in the non-machining part. Uh, we can either do manual data entry here and use a fixed cost or an hourly rate. Or if we pull down the deburring that we saw in the database, we're going to use an hourly rate. Uh, let's say it's going to take us two hours. And again, now we've got deburring charges put into the cost estimate. So now we've got material costs, perishable tooling, labor, and all our non-machining costs, which include everything that's uh, involved with the non-machining of the cost of the part.